In this video, I am going to discuss the final ideas for my magazine Alt Pop. A treatment video is finalising my ideas for my magazine. This fulfils Appendix 9. What changes have you made to your ideas based on your audience feedback? I have changed my masthead name because my feedback wasn't very positive. Some of the feedback I got was didn't think that they stood out from the norm and they're really, really long. I'd say they need to be short and snappy. Could be more creative and fun, less corporated. A lot of my feedback was about it being too long so I decided to change my masthead to sound more like a masthead. I have changed it to alt pop. This is more catchy and short and snappy. Through my feedback I have decided to change my house style colours. This is because a lot of my feedback states that it doesn't connote with the gender of my magazine which is aimed at females. So at the start it was red, black and blue. So I decided to change it to pink, red and black as I feel these are more suitable to my target audience. My final masthead. My final masthead is red for the back with a drop back effect, shadow effect. This is because it is still girly for the pop side to my magazine. Also I have chosen a backdrop because it is bold and makes the front stand out more. I created my masthead on Photoshop and is now going to be featured in my final front cover. I have chosen to have my masthead in, in red because the colour relates to the genre of music which is indie pop. I have added a drop effect so it is bold and stands out. Audience profile my magazine is going to be aimed at females. This is because the indie pop culture is aimed more at this genre rather than males. As pop is represented by girly colours such as pink, it is going to be a mainstream magazine as there is a wide audience that my magazine will appeal to. It would also appeal to people aged 16 to 24. This is because they have a lot of disposable income that they can spend on the non-essential things that are not necessary. Cost frequency paper it would be printed on. My magazine is going to cost £2. This is because my competitors such as Q cost £3.90. My magazine wants to compete with them because they have the same genre and by keeping ours cheaper we can attract more customers because we will pay a cheaper price for a magazine that is going to be similar. My magazine is going to be published weekly. This is because we want to keep up to date with information. The indie pop culture has new information out every week and the, and the pop genre information is wide and is a busy industry. The paper that my magazine is going to be printed on is, a newspaper, is newspaper. This is because the magazine is weekly and needs to be disposable as new copies are coming out every week. The three house style colours that I'm going to use are red, pink and black. Red connotes happiness, rebellious and is very masculine to the indie side of, of my magazine. Also the red connotes love and danger as my magazine is aimed at females, the, the red fits in well with the love side. I have also chose pink as it is really girly, happy and fun. This is because the magazine is going to be aimed at girls. The black I have chosen because it is dark and grun grungy. This is good to create the indie side of my magazine as well as the pop. I, which I also want my magazine to come across as a luxury mag designed well design magazine. The fonts that I am going to use in my magazine are going to be very bold and blocky and are in sans serif font. The font I'm going to use for my front cover lines is Boris 93. Front cover. 
My magazine is going to be called Old Pop. This is because I'm wanting to bring together pop and indie, indie genre as, is, as it is an alternative to just pop. I am wanting my front cover to be loud and vibrant just like my, just like my subculture's hipsters. Just like this one, my front cover image will be in the centre of the page. There will be a medium close-up so they have a direct gaze and you can see the model's body and face. Like the magazine, there will be no other images on on the front cover. I want mine to look like Q magazine and have a focus point. Some examples of the cover lines and sell by lines that I am wanting to use are Rihanna, What's Next in Her Career, Katy Perry, Big Album Release, The Killers Are at the V Fest, All the Latest News Inside, Jamie Lowe, Big News, What Has He Had Got to Say Now, The All Pop Awards, What Who and What. My double page spread. I'm going to have two pages, but I could have more if I, if I was doing an exclusive article. But I don't think this is necess- necessary to do this, as my artist is going to be new and an upcoming artist. I'm going to have an image on my front cover of a model on my double page spread, as it as he is a main feature. It will be medium close up with a direct gaze. My title on my double page spread is going to say New Kid on the Block, Jamie Lowe. What what this is so people know that is that he is a new and upcoming artist. I will need three columns for my information. This is because the Q magazine does it and it is Code and convention of a double page spread. My content page is going to be just like this one with a different number to the name of the artist. I think this makes the artist's name stand out more. I will feature multiple images to follow the codes and conventions of a content page. There will be an image of the artist and of the editor in the editor's section. There, the three colours that are going to be featured on my double page spread are pink, black and red. They These colours flow out the magazine as they are my house style colours. My magazine is going to be influenced by Q, Enemy and Top of the Pops. These are all magazines that I'm going to prestige. One thing Q always uses is a medium close up close up of the model with a direct gaze at the reader as this comes across very personal. I'm going to prestige top of the pops and have a banner running across the top of my page with the key key quotes and information from an interview that is going to be featured in my magazine. I am going to prestige Top of the Pops magazine by having a picture of the front cover of my ma- magazine with numbers relating to different information featured on my front cover, which is Anchorage, on my content page. I am going to feature one advertisement on the, f- on the content page to relate to the target audience I am wanting to target my magazine at. The things that I am going to use in my double page spread is the layouts of the magazines where the queue on of the killers magazine double page spread uses a big main image to take up a far side of paper and then has the text on the other side this is good also i'm going to prestige the black the black or co- the black or color at the top of the page this is so my master stands out compared to the rest of the page this is so my reader can read it clearly the layout on the rihanna double page spread is is good as i like the banner across the top of the page as well as the artist name being more dominant than the rest this shows dominance who and who is the article is about